What's up people, today I'm gonna show you how to make a really basic and really simple beat in FL Studio. Now remember that you're not gonna be able to make a really really sick beat or something just by watching this video because that requires a lot of hard work, imagination and dedication. So one more thing I'd like to tell you is that this is an older version of FL Studio but the things I'm gonna show you are exactly the same in the newer versions as well. So let's go. Firstly, I'd like to tell you the names of the things that we're going to use today. Firstly, this thing, this panel right here is called the browser. This is where we're going to browse some samples which we're going to use in our beat. This second thing here is called the pattern. This is where we're going to make some patterns uh, and then repeat them again and again to make a song. And talking about the song, the third thing that we're going to use today is actually called the song. It is this thing right here. This is where we're going to repeat all the patterns that we've made and then that will be our final beat. So these are the things we're going to use. So let's go ahead and make a beat. Firstly, make sure that you have this pattern 1 uh, selected. This pattern 1 right here selected. and now we're good to go. So here's the process. What we're gonna do is we're gonna browse some samples, drag them on to the pattern maker, then make a pattern and repeat it again and again here in the song and that that will be our beat. So let's go. So there are three main elements that you will need to make a really simple beat which is kick, snare and the hat. So find three things through those three things in the browser. I'll go with some preloaded hip-hop kicks and snares. You can just click on any sample and you can listen to it and decide which one you want. So if I like this kick I'll just drag it on and drop it here onto the pattern. Now we need a snare. So if I like this snare I'll just bring it in like this. Third thing we need is the hat. So this can be this can be useful. Just bring it on. So this is our pattern. Now we have three things that we need loaded. So now you will actually have the option to make this thing bigger if you want a longer pattern. You can just click here and bring it up. I'll take it to eight, which is which will make it. Uh, double in size. Now you gotta make a pattern. You gotta think about something rhythmatic, alright? You gotta decide how many kicks you want, how many snares you want, and how many hats you want in your beat. So just make your guess. For example, I'd put four kicks on equal distance, then four snares on equal distance, and then I'll put some hats in there. I'll fill to and leave to. Really simple, you can just left click on your mouse and it just fills your thing. And if you select something by mistake that you don't want to select, you can just go ahead and right click on the thing like this and it will deselect that thing. So this is our pattern. Now we gotta listen to it uh, to find if it makes sense or not because a lot of times it just is out of rhythm. So one more thing you need to pay attention to is the tempo. It is the speed at which your song or your beat is going to be played. It's currently at 140 BPM, which is really, really fast. So it depends upon the genre. Usually hip-hop beats are around 90, but I'll keep it at 100 because it's only a tutorial. Hit the play button. So you get the point. You get the point that we gotta make something rhythmatic. Uh, this is good I think for a beginner but not really good but uh, I hope you don't mind. So we have selected the first pattern we will just repeat it like this really simple just click it on and you can have uh, you can have as many tiles as you want. This one tile means one pattern so you can repeat it, repeat it as many times as you like. So that is the first pattern. Now you gotta play it to listen to it, to uh, s uh, see how it sounds, 
but if you hit the play button it will play the pattern not the song so what you gotta do is you gotta select the song first click here and then hit the play button then it will play the song so you get the point we have just it just goes in on and on again and again so but you can have multiple patterns as well I'd like to tell you that for example if I want to have another pattern what I'll do is I'll just repeat everything but this time I'll bring in some variations so that it sounds different and sounds good but you can have as many patterns as you like but I'll only show you two uh, to show you basically what it means uh, you can just hit the play button and di and then find out where you can fit in something something different this time for example I can have one kick here and here and probably one here and see if it makes sense okay if I find this good what I'll do is I'll just delete some of these patterns and fill in the second pattern there just mix it up and go to the song again and hit the play button again alright so you get the point it just goes on and on again, again, again. on and on again and again you can have as many patterns as you want you can have uh, pianos you can have guitars there's just no limit uh, in this software on the sky is the limit you can say and uh, you have so many options this is just an example that's why I'm only using two patterns it's uh, it, it doesn't sound that great but if you spend t spend some time on this thing you can really do wonders uh, so this is the quality of the software now you gotta export this thing so, so just make sure your song is selected then go to export and just find the format you want I'll go with wave then you can save it and name it whatever you want to name it and click on save then you can uh, select the bitrate I'll go with 320 and hit start so that is how you make a really basic and really simple beat in FL Studio thanks a lot for watching and have a great day